Hey After Effects buddies, let's take a look at the loop out and loop in offset expression. Okay, so I've got two going on here. Loop in at the bottom, loop out at the top. Let's take a look at loop out first. Okay, so we've got, um, I'll move these keyframes back to the start. Okay, so what loop out does, you can see I've got four keyframes here for a little squiggle. Okay, now if it did loop out cycle, it would just go back and repeat and ping pong would just keep going backwards and forwards. But I want, what I want it to do is just keep going on that kind of path. Okay, let's make this a little bigger so you can see. Keep it going along on this path. So when I play it, it does the four keyframes. I'll turn this one off to keep it simple. There you go. It does that gets past the keyframes, it's as if it's just carrying on doing the same thing because it's kind of going back to the start keyframe and then adding that to the movement that's already happened and then just keep on doing that and because it's loop out it'll just keep on doing that, it's going off the page there and imagine it'll just go on forever going off into the distance, into infinity there. So that's just going to loop that out so to do an animation doing this, I don't need keyframes across the whole of the image. Okay, I can just I can just have a few and get them to repeat going carrying on in the same direction. Okay, I could even add a few more to this. I could add a little kind of squiggle here, sort of do a little make it do a little kind of almost a, a little flip around sort of thing and this will do some, some little, a little ooh, uh, so it does that little kick back and it'll just do that as it goes along okay so just do that there you go so it'll just take those keyframes and keep them going 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 loop in just does the same thing but rather than go from the start and continue, it, it sort of, it will offset it backwards, okay? And and it will it will take it in, okay? So if I move these forward a little bit, it'll take, you see it takes it further back. So it's got more time now to get, and then it'll get to here, get the last keyframe, and it will stop. So, so it'll just kind of roll the animation backwards in time until we get to that final keyframe. So a way I could use this is I've done a, a clock animation previously, but this is a different method and it works just as well. Okay, so what I've done here is I've got a clock going at one second, it's moving around and as you can see, it gets to five seconds and it's hit five seconds there, okay? Just like a real clock. If I press U, I've only got two keyframes so let's just get rid of these and get an expression error so i'll just press double e to get rid of my actually i'll just copy my expression that i can actually paste it in later okay so if i had a keyframe for rotation and then just come to one second and make the rotation six degrees okay that'll take me one second because 60 okay times six degrees is a 360 so it'll do a 360 at that speed so it'll get back to the top after a minute okay so that's the right value to give us so at one second it goes there so if I add this expression to this so I'll click and I'll paste the expression there loop out offset then what it's going to do, you can see on here what's happening, it gets to six seconds, rather than cycle would be to go back and do that, it just adds another six degrees, so we've got six degrees here, get to two seconds, it's now at 12 degrees, if we get to three seconds, it's now 18 and 24 and 30 and so on, so you see by the time we get to five seconds there, it's at five and that will just carry on, okay, at the right speed but we want this rather than to be smooth we want it to tick okay so I'll take the keyframes and I'll change them with a the right click to toggle hold 
So it'll hold the first keyframe until it gets to the next keyframe. So then it will just do a tick, 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 tick. Okay. So that's a very simple way with just two keyframes. This clock will go on and I could do the same with the minute hand and just make, so I'd make my composition like, you know, 10 minutes long and at one minute I'd have it go six degrees. Okay. And then I would do the same. I'd, I'd put the same expression on and then it would take that amount of time to go a minute and it would carry on at the right speed. So it's super easy. That means I could make a minute and a second hand and an hour hand with just six keyframes. And I'd have a clock that went on uh, for as long as my composition was. Okay, so that would be a very simple way to do this. All with this really handy little offset expression. Okay, so thanks for watching, buddies.